Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about Azure Service Bus topic. In the last video, I covered queue. Now let's uh, first understand what is the difference between queue and the topic. All right, so queue was, you know, like uh, when I was showing in the demo, you might have observed it like one to one, right? Uh, we were able to send a message from one API, it was going to the queue, and then it was getting consumed by the another API, right? This is it's always one to one. But in case of topic, you can have as many as publisher you want and as many as subscription, I mean to say the consumer, depending on their need, they will create their own subscription by applying some filter on the topic. Alright, so if you see this image, uh, you can see there are three publisher, web app, mobile app and the service. All three are sending events to topic. And depending on these, uh, you know, receiver side, let's say their demand is just to, you know, have only two kind of messages where you are having business lodging and other one is the audit kind of events, right? So what they will do, they will apply business kind of filter in this topic and create a subscription one. Similarly, they will apply a new kind of uh, filter and create another subscription from the same topic and get those only audit related, uh, you know, events. All right. So this is all about topic. Let's, uh, I have already created a simple application. I'll walk you through that. So before that, I'll show you demo and then to understand the demo, you should understand what I'm doing in that application. All right. So what actually I am doing, I'm creating a lot of task list. So let's say one task has to be done on Monday, another task has to be done on Sunday, something like that, Tuesday, Friday and Saturday. And now all these task list is going to the Azure service bus topic. All right. So now what I will do, I will create or I will divide these tasks into weekend and weekday. So there are two subscription I have, I will be creating actually weekday subscription and the uh, weekend subscription and the task will be automatically divided into these two by the, by the, uh, by the help of filter, I would say. So the day, Monday, Sunday, Tuesday, all these are day actually, right? So what I will be doing, I will be applying in the weekday, whenever the task is having the day not equal to Saturday and Sunday, then move these, all the events to weekend, uh, I mean weekday subscription and otherwise move all the remaining uh, events where you have like day is equal to Saturday and Sunday move it to weekend subscription all right so let's see the demo first all right so this app is up and running let me send first message I will say let's say task 1 and it should be done on let's say Saturday all right and now i'll put a debugger i hope i already have it let me check i'll close all other so i have two subscription all right let's go back to the application and you can see task one and i'm sending it to saturday all right now you can see the event came to this handler weekend subscription handler and same message you can see over here in the event also Saturday and the, uh, I mean that's the event name and actually filter keys I will come to that point uh, I mean point in just a bit and the task message was task one all right so let me release this uh, I will before releasing I will show you the same in the subscription as well let me refresh this all so my topic name is Azure service bus topic and then I have two subscription as I was explaining in the image like weekend and the week uh, weekday and you can see right now I have triggered only one message for Saturday that's why it's coming in to weekend packet all right and if you want to have a look you can see the total count is one because uh, the debugger is still there I didn't release that I mean I didn't acknowledge that event all right so let me acknowledge it since I was holding for a so long so it might come again that's not a big deal all right so now let me create task 2 and let me send this time to let's say other day means any day uh, like between Monday to Friday something like that okay so now you can see it came on weekday subscription right all right now this demo is up and running now I'll show you how my, how I'm doing these things okay so before that you need to create right to before that you need to create I mean you should have Azure uh, valid subscription and once you have that you need to you know create uh, this service bus and then you need to select the pricing tier to standard because basic is only covering the event I would say the simple queue not the topic 
so at least you should have a standard one or it's once you select that you need to go to that home page and there you will see this home screen and then copy the connection strings which you can always go from the left side shared access and it you know you will click on that you will get primary and secondary and then you copy that connection string and put it into your application which i will show you over here you can see in my constant i'm keeping this that's my topic name this is my connection string which i copied from this azure portal over here all right so once that part is over then you can create two uh, two topics i have done it from the azure uh, service bus uh, explorer you can do it from the portal i mean it depends on you where you want to do it it's both are pretty much same all right so once you have i'm able to create this topic then you need to apply filters that we will be doing from the code all right i'll go back to the explorer also and here also you have all the pretty much same features so you can see create topic once the topic is created then you will get subscription i mean like here you will be able to see this option called create subscription and something like that you will be able to do and you can create you know rules also here also you can create like say i want to add one more rule i can add it from here all right but right now i have added these to add you know rules from the code if you want to see these you can say the weekend is saying not in sunday saturday and then weekend means a day in saturday sunday all right so now let's go back to the code this code let me stop this i do need that now again in the last video also i explained you i have divided the application into three uh, parts you can see the one is the api the starting point the second is the basic event uh, bus which is like a, you know all the interfaces will be there and then this is like depending on the whether you are dealing with queue or a topic or something else or a different pro, you know framework that kind of logic you will be you know doing in this library all right so i have modified so in, the, in my last video i was having the code related to queue i have modified it and now it's working for the topic all right so let's start with the startup first here we need to register all the uh, you know like uh, services which i'm using with uh, with respect to the server uh, like service so uh, you can say event bus and all that background service and you have to you know register all the handlers so uh, as you have seen already like weekend and weekday two handlers i'm having so we have to register them all right so now this is important thing we need to bind those handlers to the subscription so for example i am having two subscription weekday and weekend i have to bind these two subscription to this handler so that is why this stuff i am doing over here now let's go back to this uh, consumer and the let me close all first now first i'll cover uh, the publisher part all right and then let me open the controller control is pretty simple so I'm just taking the message and the day and I'm just setting the object and calling the publish method pretty simple but if you go inside this publish you will see I'm doing one extra thing called I'm applying the some like day property to additional properties into the message right so so what happened like when you when you are sending a lot of events to the topic and when you're creating subscription you have to apply some filter so you, you will be able to apply filter only on the additional properties it can be like you can do it from the uh, portal or you can do it from the port also so right now i am just sending you know like setting these uh, key and the value i will set i will tell you how i am doing that so what i am doing and from this object i am just taking the day property and i am setting as uh, like uh, this is the value and the key i'll tell you where i am doing these things if you go back and if you see the type of this event which is obviously over here if i'm willing to say uh, let me show you this one first so this is my event and in that i'm inheriting from this uh, you know like i uh, event interface and if you go inside i am saying get me the filter keys so when i am doing that while creating the object of this one i am setting i am interested only in day key which can be used as a filter so that I need to manually set again and again. It just just key at the time of creating the object. I will be setting the key. And what happen when you try to publish at the time of publishing? You will take all these filter keys from that object and put that into additional properties. And obviously you have to get the values also of those keys. And once that part is over, you just I mean you are ready to send the message. And once that message is sent to the topic now it will come to the subscription part so for that you need to go to this event consumer services it's pretty much same you need to register those uh, you know like uh, all the subscription so for example i am saying 
register weekend subscription and register weekday subscription in that i'm pretty much doing the same thing you just want to say when you want to acknowledge it and you just get that object and you attach this callback method for the success and the failure scenario so and then you need to you know remove all the filters if like it depends how you want to you want to remove all the time when you are starting the application or you want to update it's up to you what i am actually doing i'm removing all the field uh, all the filters every time when you start the service and i'm creating freshly all new filters so if you say add filter to weekday so if you go inside this one you will see there are two ways to apply the filter i'll explain you so i am saying when uh, like there are two ways like as i already told you like sql uh, i mean rule filter or you can use correlation uh, you know rule filter in case of the correlation you will be saying something like day is equal to saturday or something like that in case of sql filter you can use like your you know like how you write your sql query something like that you will say so i'm using that uh, sql kind of say i'm saying days filter i'm saying sql filter and that day not in saturday and sunday because it's a weekday filter Similarly, there is one more filter you will see you below somewhere. Yeah, the weekend filter. It's pretty much same. Just that I am saying instead of saying not in, I am saying days in, Sunday and Saturday. That's it. Once these filters are applied, you will be able to see in the uh, Azure portal as well as you can see from this uh, Azure Bus uh, Explorer. If you click on this topic then subscription and then you will be click uh, once you click on this rules you'll be able to see all the rules or whatever with respect to the subscription if you double click on that you will see over here all right and then and one more thing i was showing you one second okay so the, there is one more catch like when you're like make sure you have this days value is set if you're not setting then it's not going to work so what will happen let's say if you are sending a message and then you are sending that message and the filter key is not is equal to something like let's say right now i'm saying not in saturday and saturday so if you set day is equal to let's say xyz still it will come into the uh, weekday correct but assume if you are writing a uh, sql filter or something like when day is equal to sunday then move this uh, event to sunday bucket and when day is equal to saturday then move into this uh, saturday bucket or something like that but if you are sending a completely a different key altogether which is not part of your any filter then it will not be captured you will not be able to see that event anywhere so for that you can do some tricks something like what you can you, what you can do you can create one subscription let's say for example if i create another subscription over here right now and let's say all i'll say uh, the name of the you know subscription itself lol so you can see it got created let me refresh over here you can see over here it, by default it will be having a rule called default one one equals to one that means it will have all the events now let me run the application you will get what i'm trying to say and i am not having any filter on that subscription all right just that by default one which is while creating it will create one one to one that means it has to have all the events all right let me disable these all the event for the purpose now if i send doesn't really matter what i select over here the message will go to respective subscription so for example in my case i selected sunday so obviously it might have gone here and got acknowledged but it will go to all also the subscription name is self over the name you can give anything but the filter is having one equals to one that means it's going to have if i refresh this one you should see that message now you can see the message there if you want to see over here you just say peak and you can see that JSON is here. So message was one to three, as you can see over here. And then day was Sunday, and that's my event name, and that's a filter key. So that is all about this video. Thank you very much.